everyone, and we're back. My name is Miss Scarlet Tenager, and I am playing some Dragon Age Origins Awakening DLC. So, I just got back from Indie PopCon. I haven't played this game in a while since I just really haven't had time because of finals and stuff. But, we got a lot of people to talk to, so let's talk Warden to them. Commander, a pleasure Hello. to meet you. I'm Mistress Wolsey, sent by order of the First Warden at White Heart. Demon in Inquisition. I'm to act as treasurer Wolsey. of the Arling of Amaranthine. He believed local men could not be trusted for this post. Well, One of those rude. local men is right here, <laughs> Mistress Woolsey. I have every confidence in the vigil's loyalty in the matter of arms. But gold corrupts even the most resolute soul. I've got a little bit of a cold from Indie Popcorn, you guys, so I apologize if I sniffle a little bit. I'll try not to, but still. Um, you're from Weishaupt? Not Weishaupt itself. I'm from many places. I go where the wardens command. Sir, okay. the Arling is on the are brink of economic warden? collapse. Trade must <clears throat> flow. Merchant caravans are being systematically attacked somewhere along the Pilgrim's Path. Rude. It is the only route that can reliably provision an army, feed a city, and maintain civilization. Um, how do I deal with this? In the city of Amaranthine, there is a trader, Mervis, whose caravans have been hit particularly hard. He may okay. know where along the road the Darkspawn, or whatever they are, are striking. And I can kill them all! Yay! Um, have you ever been to Weishaupt? No. It is far to the north. The fortress is said to be She's impregnable. She's so short with me! It still has the areas where the griffins of old would breed. But their like will never be seen again. But the griffins are extinct. The Fereldons are a White proud dragons. people. dragons! They are proud of you, especially. Had the first warden sent foreign fighters, it would have caused great distrust amongst the locals. Barrel was specifically chosen as Seneschal because he commands great respect here. Um, why does the First Warden care about Amaranthine? About the Arling? He does not. But about the implications? <clears throat> a great deal. When about Warden the Commander Dryden was cast out of Ferelden generations ago, that deal, see? <laughs> it created a dangerous precedent. Her true story, and that of the Warden's exile, is one you yourself uncovered what? at Soldier's Peak. At great personal risk, oh, don't we're worry now about presented it. with another precedent. Wardens owning lands and commanding fealty from lesser nobles. If your Arling succeeds, it will be an example to other kingdoms that wardens are important, blight or no. Uh, that'll be all, Mr. Zulzi. Very well, Commander. You're still named after a demon in Dragon Age Inquisition, which makes me giggle. Hi, dude. To business, you then. To your butt. Orle sent a dozen wardens to the vigil to await your arrival. Woo! Nearly all died in the attack, but Kristoff is still in the field. Oh, about that. <laughs> they said a dozen wardens to fight an army. Oh, it only took three <coughs> wardens to end a civil war and kill an archdemon. Okay, he's a got a point there. Is extravagant. The warden commander of Orle wanted to send more, but there are political considerations. No, the Empress of Orle was not pleased when her wardens were turned away during the blight. Not my fault, bro! Terran Loghain still had bitter memories of the Orlesian occupation. And whatever message Loghain sent back with the Wardens, it got the Empress's knickers in a twist. Oops. Damn it, Loghain! The Orlesian Wardens were uneasy that the Darkspawn weren't going to ground with the blight ended. Christoph was sent to track down some leads. A fortnight ago, Something he left in a bustle. As best we figure, he went to the city, Amaranthine. Um, where would I find Only it? so many places travelers visit. I check the inns and taverns. Um, did he reveal anything of what he, he found? He did, but not to me. The wardens keep their own counsel. Rude. Wiser men than I have worried over that. One of the wardens said the archdemon's strength gave the horde some semblance of purpose. Kay. If they found some other purpose. <sighs> uh, that could be bad. He That's has the only thing there. that needs immediate attention. Do you want something else, Commander? Uh, not... Uh, can you tell me about Vigil? We call her the Vigil. She's been around for a long spell. They say the Alamari Barbarians first built a fort here to stop Tevinta incursions from the lowlands of the Waking Sea. Okay. They say that the castle is built on a mountain of bones. Rude. Much death here. Um, bye. Okay, now we gotta talk to this dude. Commander. Sopner. This is Sir Garavel, the new captain of the guard. After all the rest of them died. I have a matter to bring to your attention. Yes. Potentially urgent. The Orlesians, wardens, I mean, began gathering information while they were here. 
The most promising lead they found was a wild tale a couple of hunters told. Tell me more. These hunters, Colbert and, well, the other one, claimed to have stumbled <laughs> yeah. across an entrance to the deep roads. Uh -oh. Dark spawn all over the place, they said. And this was before the fiends appeared throughout the whole Arling. The wardens were just about to send someone to track down Colbert. Uh, where's Colbert? Colbert and his friend are in the city of Amaranthine. Is he Colbert? Probably amongst the refugees outside the city gate. Commander. Random nerd. Alright okay, guys, anybody else I need to talk to? No. Anders? Anders. Grrrr. Okay. Hey, look! There's Mogger. Let's go talk to Mogger. Ooh, I think a blister on my foot just exploded. Gross? That's gross. Okay. <clears throat> we don't get a lot of dudes yet. I'll take Ogren. I'll take Anders. Because uh. I have to. I still don't like Anders, you guys. Again, he's alright in the DLC, but... <clears throat> Dragon Age 2, bro. We'll play that game eventually. I just gotta finish all the DLC off of this one because I don't want to jump into the next one without having finished the DLC in this one. Blimey, Commander Sup, of the nerd? Grey. Yep. Right. Who the hell are you? back, they caught a thief in the vigil. Took four wardens to capture him. I know who this Gave is. Gave one of the wardens a black eye he did. Half joking, they said he might make a good recruit. Well, maybe he should be a recruit. He's in the dungeon, sir. I also have some letters. Arrived just before you did. Uh, show them to me. Just give me a moment. Uh, is there something or other? Band in Chantry by the Forlorn Cove. You produce their answer. I swear on my fifth. I'm just going to be in your prayers. <coughs> I'm back here. A friend, I fear we may not have much time. Okay, I'll accept that one, and I'll accept both of them. Why not? Cool, so let's go talk to the dude in the dungeons, apparently. Sup, nerd? I don't mean to alarm you, Commander, but it's possible there are still Darkspawn in the Vigil. Uh-oh! That's a bad thing. Let me explain. You know Dwarkin? That mad dwarf's bombs shook the whole keep. Some of, of the deep did. cellars caved in. I suspect that there are pockets of Darkspawn below, trapped. In time, they may dig their way out. I'm good at killing Dark Spot, but we not have men who can unearth the rubble at your command. Whenever you're ready, I can take you to the basement. Uh, not right now, I have things to do. We have to go talk to this Nathaniel dude. Let's go to the dungeon, because we need to talk to Nathaniel. And he's not going to be somebody that we kind of know at, at, at all. At, at all. Okay. What's up, nerd? Wait, what? Never I think I fucked up. Traveling with I'm gonna talk to the Saul guard. Oh, Commander. <laughs> Good thing you're here. Hello! This one's been locked up three nights now. Good men died while this one was protected in his cell. Well, why didn't- why did you take him out of the cell? He won't give his name. All I know is he was caught poking around the estate in the middle of the night. I'd say he was just a thief. But it took four Grey Wardens to capture him. Damn! You must be careful. That's impressive. Whoever he is, he's no ordinary burglar. That's for sure. Uh, let me talk with As him. As you wish, Commander. I'll tell the Seneschal you came. He'll want to know what the you decided to do with The bloom in this game this is so bright! His chin has melted into his neck. Okay. Hey, nerd! I'll talk to your butt. If it isn't the great hero, yep. conqueror of the blight and vanquisher of all evil. Sounds about Aren't right. you supposed to be ten feet Most tall with lightning bolts shooting out of your eyes? No, but I am your queen, so... Uh, the next one probably thinks so. Somehow I just thought that my <laughs> father's murderer would be, uh, more impressive. Excuse I am you. Nathaniel Howe. My Here we go, guys. My father these lands until you showed up. Do you even remember my father? Yes, your father killed my family. Your family was going to sell us out to the Olesians. We're not. Um, we fought for the king. Your father was too ambitious. My father served the hero of Riverdane and fought against the Olesians. Yet our family lost everything. Yeah, well, I my family's here. dead, so shut up. I thought I was <clears> going <throat> to try to kill you. To lay a trap for you. 
rude. Then I realized I just wanted to reclaim some of my family's things. It's all I have left. Um... How much do you know about your father? If you're asking whether I knew what he was up to, the answer is no. I was squired in the free marches. Look, I don't know what happened with the Kuslans. It they sounds all died. like it was horrible. Except for my brother. The entire war was. Whatever my father did, however, shouldn't harm my whole family. The Howes are pariahs now. Those of us left. It's all thanks yeah, to you. Well. And now you get to decide my fate. Yep. Ha. Ironic, isn't it? Why don't you become a warden? Um... I just have me have trouble capturing you. I'm not without skills. My time abroad wasn't spent chasing skirts and drinking wine. Well, there you go. Even though both of those things can be fun. You probably shouldn't do them too much. Um... You really hate me so much. The Darkspawn are a menace. <laughs> if it weren't for the Blight, maybe my father would never have done what he did. You sure but about I that? I can't do anything about them, <laughs> can sure I? You sure about that? There's just you and the Grey Wardens here in my home. Mm -hmm. Sounds about right. Um, what will we do if I let you go? If you let me go, uh, I don't know. I only came back to Ferelden a month ago. If you let me go, I'll probably come back here. You might not catch me next time. That's not probably what you should say for the... You're not making the best case for yourself, dude. I could lie, if you prefer. Now my charisma score would say that I'd be able to catch your lie. Um... Perhaps you should work to redeem your name. You're right. I'll go join King Alistair's service immediately. He'd be certain <laughs> to give a how another chance. Yeah, sure. I would. Already? Good. I've decided what to do with you. Already? Good. I brought the Seneschal for you, Commander. Okay, let's make her a Grey Warden. Why not? I see you've spoken to our guest. Conscript! Quite the handful, isn't he? Have you decided what's to be done with him? Yeah, let's conscript him. Um, do you know Sir Nathaniel Howe? A uh, Howe? He figures that they would turn up again. The Howes are implacable enemies, Commander. Thanks. Um, hang him! At least I want to be gone. Uh, I wish to invoke the right of conscription. You Get what? wrecked! <laughs> I'm sorry, Commander. The right of conscription? On the prisoner? You're coming no, with me, you man! Absolutely not. Hang me first. Get wrecked. <clears throat> you don't think this is better than dying? Hard to say. <laughs> you like having Grey Wardens who want you dead? Sounds about right! Uh, some of my best friends have wanted me dead. <laughs> you really want to howl as a Grey <laughs> Warden? You are a very strange woman. Don't worry I about it, bro. I can't decide if this is a vote of confidence or punishment. An interesting decision, Commander. Hey, hey, Come Grey Wardens turn nobody away, okay? See if you nobody. The joining. Oh, he totally will. Don't worry about it. Then <laughs> he could be our fourth party member. Beyond the Veil! Ooh. From this moment forth, Nathaniel Howe, you are a Grey Warden. Now drink the blood from the cup! The moment of truth. Nom 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 blood! Tastes like raspberries! And he passes out. Fine, the how is stronger than I expected. For better or for worse, he will live. Woo! Little bit of dark spawn. Okay. <clears throat> so we talked to him. Looks like we got some more people to talk to over here. Hi. I'm here to serve, Commander. Um, can we do anything to respire soldiers? I will do what can be done. But you would be wise to keep alert for trading possibilities in your journeys. Will if do. you can persuade any merchants to trade here, it would benefit the vigil considerably. Um, LBL. Very well, Commander. Is that it? Am I done talking to you? I am. Good. Hey, nerd! Commander, the Lords of Amaranthine have come to swear fealty <coughs> to you and the Grey Wardens. Great! These were our Rendon Howe's vassals. Now they will be yours. Ah, screw Rendon Howe. If any took part in the murder of my family, Howe I How was enough of a bastard to do that all on his own. But it is possible he had confederates. 
Some of these lords bore Rendon no love, but others had their prospects ruined with his demise. Well, they can get right. Tread then. carefully, Commander. I will attempt to and fail Lords to Lords and ladies, I present the Warden Commander of Ferelden and Arl of Amaranthine. Sup, nerds? Commander. Um, our differences are many, but our cause is one, because my charisma is amazing. Ban Esmeral of Amaranthine. As is old custom, you have the honor of beginning. I promise that I, Ban Esmeral, will be faithful to the Arl in matters of life, limb, and earthly honor. You are completely Never covered Never will by the I bear I arms do. against her or her heirs. So I say, in the sight of the Maker. Don't trust her. I promise that I, Lord Edelbreck, yeah, and so the ceremony Edelbreck. is complete. Long live the Warden Commander. Woo! It's because I'm awesome. Just suck to people. Yeah, I gotta talk to people now. Okay. Warden Commander, we've all heard so much about you. So many good things, unbelievable things. Don't worry about but it. But many of your deeds cost people here a chance at great advancement. Sorry. So many fortunes were deeply intertwined with the old girl. <clears throat> well, maybe you should have killed my family. Here, they seek to end your dominion over them. Rude. Perhaps you do not know the full extent of their determination. I've had occasion to intercept some of their missives they are cryptic things okay. any individual message is unintelligible but together they form a pattern they mean to end you before you can begin a deadly coalition that's rude they should stop that i want to see these missives given a few days i can retrieve the messages i would have brought them tonight but i didn't know if warning you would be wise of course I warning you would be wise precious little to gain Aww, farewell honey. we will meet again soon Okay, I like her now. She has my hair cut. Not my hair color, but she has my hair cut. Lord Guy. It's an honor to have you as our liege, Commander. Yeah, sure it is. A pleasure to meet you, Commander. Yeah, sure. Who are you? Honor to meet you, Warden Commander. You come to us during desperate times. Not more about your precious farms, that'll be. <laughs> Hey, I can Some help. in our Arling do not have the comfort of city walls. On the plains, the situation is dire. Uh, my father called you a friend, Edelbeck. Apparently he did. I didn't know that. Speak your mind. So you remember me, young Kuzland, although you're not so young anymore. Hey. I swear to you and Andraste, I had no Excuse part you. in Hal's treachery. My concern isn't that, however. As we feast, the peasants on our lands are starving, or worse. Well, the city's maybe defenses they should learn how to are more forage. There may be wheat in the silos now, but if the farmers die, where will you get your food? It's got a point there. Um, I'll take the matters under advice. Okay. Uh, is that dude to talk to him? There's Anders. Anders is a jerk. I think that was everybody. Was that everybody? Let me know if you want the nobles cleared out. Uh, if you want the ceremony to end, I mean. Um, Edelbrecht says we're not defending the farm line. Edelbrecht speaks truly, sir, but things are dire. But he and Ban Esmeral both contest the deployment of soldiers. But we don't have enough men. It's a matter of what you want to protect. The city, the land, trade. How about we protect everything? Let's do our best to protect them all. As you wish. Protect everything! Okay. Let me know if you want the nobles cleared out. Ah, uh, if you want the ceremony to end, I mean. Um, I've heard a conspiracy against me. Do you know the conspirators? Not really. The right of high justice is yours, and treachery is a capital offense. Uh, Sir Tamra doesn't know she's bringing some evidence. She's a sly one, Sir Tamra, but knowledgeable about such things. She seems Better to be a touch me. paranoid than turning up face down in a ditch. I to like proceed, that idea. we'd need not strong that. proof, and that'll be hard to gather. There are options, some I would not recommend. They could turn the nobles fierce. Such as? We could have some soldiers try to spy on the nobility. I suppose that might bear fruit. There are also rumors of someone called the Dark Wolf, who finds information for a fee. Dangerous fellow, by all accounts. Uh, well, the soldiers are... Not sticks. leading likely, in truth. Good men. Lousy spies. Great! Uh, where to find this Dark Wolf? No here? idea, honestly. Somewhere in the foreign quarter of Amaranthine is all I know. Um... And what wouldn't you recommend? You could invite a member of each of the noble families to stay as prolonged guests. So hostages! And if anything untowards happens, 
Well, you get the picture. This is a terribly Orlesian thing to do. <laughs> I'm not Orlesian, though. Um, let's see if I can find the star gold. You need to head to the city, then, and chase down a ghost. Don't worry about it. Wouldn't it be the first time. Let me know if you want the <coughs> nobles cleared out. Uh, if you want the ceremony to end, I mean. Um, who do I need to know? There's really only two who can offer real support in the war. Lord Edelbrecht, really master war. of the Firavel Plains, controls more farmland than anyone else. He's powerful and popular. Van Esmeral rules the city. Wealthiest in the room by far. She may not be loved, but she cannot be ignored. Uh, I should get back to mingling. Go talk to what's-her-face. I see oh, now she wants Lord to talk Edelbrick to me. wastes no time in canvassing you for soldiers to defend his farms. Do not be deceived, Commander. His livelihood is all he cares about. Rude. Amaranthine is the jewel of the Arling, and she must be protected. I hate this politics bullshit. Um, I must confirm my advice. Amaranthine this. was built over generations. <laughs> if she falls, then this great Arling will be diminished. Wealth is well and good, but what measure do you put to human life? The folk in the country outnumber your city dwellers many times over. I would not be so vulgar as to violate the decorum of this event. I don't like Ben Commander. I like the other one more. But let's protect everyone. I like protecting everyone. Let me know if you want the nobles cleared out. Uh, if you want the ceremony to end, I mean. Um... Ceremony's gone up long enough, Sunshine. As you wish, Commander. Clear the hall. The Commander has business to attend to. I gotta go start things with the pointy end. Alright, guys, I just took a minute to mess around with some of the characters' yeah, stuff. We got some people to talk to. <gasps> it's Harry! Oh, Warden Commander, I represent Heron. Master Wade, the finest. Wade and Heron. And bloody Heron. coldest. I can't feel my fingers. I feel like I should superimpose Finest a face of Wade Honora on top of this in Wade. Dinner room. <laughs> just, just to fuck with it. I thought, well, we thought that you might have need of an armorer. Of course I have a need of you guys. I'm Master Wade, I remember you. The Drake skill armor, right? My one glittering moment. The highlight of my career. And now I'm stuck at Turnip Keep. Hey! Vigil's Keep. Vigil! Sorry, Warden Commander. You know how he gets. I love these. Don't you love the low texture of the armor behind them? It's just so low res compared to the actual characters themselves. It makes me giggle. What brings This is a temporary relocation. The Darkspawn are most active around Amaranthine. We thought we could help. And I suppose the money or the Crown Pointers had help. nothing to do with it? Alistair <laughs> bought you guys. Thank you, Alistair. Providing arms and armor for common soldiers of oh, indignity. Oh, shut up, If boy. we are going to be no. so dreadfully plebeian, <laughs> yeah. I don't suppose Amaranthine has any proper medal. I can find Silverite, some. Silverite, Viridium, or are we back to bronze weapons, stone clubs? Wade I will has, keep an eye out. Uh, a point. He's happiest and fastest when presented with a challenge. If you come across any deposits of ore, let us know. Will do. Come back soon. Oh, wait, I gotta sell some stuff. Keep these gifts because you can give them to people. They don't really work on Ogryn because there's a glitch with Ogryn. So we're gonna have to be careful to make Ogryn happy. Because there's a glitch in Origin or in Awakening that the common gifts and the gifts that you give him, they carry over to Awakening, but the approval rating with him doesn't. Commander, so this is human construction, is it? <laughs> yep. My brother said you'd need a stonemason. But he didn't know the half of it. Uh, welcome to the vigil? You're too kind. The Darkspawn did a number on this keep of yours. But I suspect it was crumbling well before they showed up. Well, I'm the gonna need your help. Your gave me Stay some forth. fancy decree promising men and monies to fix the vigil. But it's a paltry sum. So you need more I money. I suppose it would be sufficient to reconstruct the walls to human standards. But who'd want that? Not me! Um... <clears throat> I might regret this. What would it take to rebuild it right? I'm not certain of the character of the stone in these parts, but we'd need more men for certain. Proper skilled men, not some starving dusters, right? Which all boils down to coin, really. So I need to give you money. Um, I can give you every 80 sovereigns. It will be, Warden. Good luck to anyone who tries to breach these walls. Because ah. I've got all the money from the other game. 
Seriously, I don't think 80, 80 sovereigns means anything to me. Yeah, I've got a... That was less than half of what I had. It's fine. So, mage, huh? What's it like? <laughs> don't worry about all it. all this power at my fingertips. No, to always have to wear a skirt. <laughs> he doesn't have oh, to. you don't know the story behind the robes. What, you know sorry? how strict things are in a circle, right? Well, of course mm -hmm. you. Well, the robes make quick trysts in the corner easy. No laces or buttons. You're just, well, you're done before the Templars catch on. Really? <laughs> just ask anyone. So there's the reason why mages wear robes, you guys. You have time to talk about the Darkspawn <coughs> in the vigil. Yes, let's do it. Let me explain. Some yeah, of we already talked about time, this. They may dig their blah, way blah, out. Blah, blah, I'm good at killing, uh... Take me to the game. Straight away, sir. Let's do it. Let's go kill some dark spawn. Kill some dark spawn. <laughs> Don't judge me, you guys. I'm, I'm a little bit sick. I already said that, but I'm a little bit ill. I get weird when I get ill. I'll just be like, how you doing? And then I'll cough up a lung. Here we are. Hello. The vigil goes deep, real deep. The hallways down here have been crumbling for years and decades. And that That's blasted the dwarf guy explosives didn't do the structure any favors. <laughs> I have to make through the rubble. You heard the commander. Put your backs into it. You know she's gonna stand this there. This is where that. you come in. Who knows what's up Look ahead? Look, he's got the big boob we'll be shields. Back here. Metal doesn't move like that over the chest, by the way. Also, her boobs would be gigantic. Okay, that makes me leave. So I'm gonna go this way. Oh, you're a how. Uh oh. Do you have a point, mate? Yes, he is a how. Hey, I'm fond of the hows. I'm also fond of the whys, the whos, and the whats. How Wow, Anders. Anders, oh, that was bad even for you. How long it took me to come up with that. That was that was bad even for you, Anders. Puppy! Oh, it's my puppy! Oh, it's my puppy! Wait, is it my puppy? Is it Eris? Puppy? Comfort the puppy. Is that my puppy? Take this bowl. What does it say? Audrio rises to take refuge in the lower levels. Keep. She's probably very dead. A dryer. Very she was, dead. She was like a mother to me. We must save her. Let's do it. Okay. Bye, bye, puppy. Hey, bye, bye, puppy. Let's go save her. Woo! Except we're not, not gonna get there in time. I mean, she's been down here for how long? Maybe she should have stayed with the Mabari. Uh oh. Come spawn! Kill their faces! Woo! <laughs> I'm almost all the way through this episode. They were just now fighting. Don't you stun me! Arr! Arr, arr. Oh, wait, that's the face of the bone, right? <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> Yeah, sure, what I said. Okay, who's over here? Hi, nerd. Now I go behind you. Boop. Was that everyone? Got a soldier's corpse. Another soldier's corpse? Why is everything made of dragon bone when Heron and Wade were like, We need armor metals! What's down here? This to bracket. Probably a gift for Ogren. Ogren, I got you a present! Apparently. I'm assuming that's a gift for Ogren. Is this gonna- Yes, I have a cheat sheet up here for what the gifts are, don't judge me! Don't judge me because I'm beautiful, you guys. Yes, that was one for him. Okay. Because it's always hard to tell who's the- who's this for who and the what's this. That looks fine indeed. There we go! But he still only gets six instead of ten like he's supposed to because of the glitch! Okay, we're gonna have to make Ogren happy. <laughs> My goal is to do everything that Ogren approves of. Until he likes me better. Because he has had a hundred percent approval for me before. It's silly that he got his approval cut. Bugs! Oh fuck! Hi, how you doing? Ah, that was really loud in my ear. That was... Really loud in my ear. I forgot how much I hate it. They make weird noises. 
Ow! Oh! Oh, I have, I have to sound down on this. I don't know how loud it's gonna be for you guys, but damn is that loud! Oh well, dead anyway. <gasps> and just as big for five people to make his eyes. Okay. Um, potion recipe. I poke the torch. Manuscript copy. Tingler! I don't know what the Tingler ring does, but... Let's take a look, why don't we? Okay, I got a ring, it's called the Tingler. Gives... A constitution, health regen... Ooh, that would be something for... Ogren! Okay. I'm gonna give it to him in place of... Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> wait, what? Oh, cool, you equipped it. Which one of these better? Uh, cool damage. And I'll give him this one in place of that one. No! Balls! Um, that one. There we go. You know what, I gave him the wrong dude. Damn it! Okay. I'm supposed to... Game! There we go. Okay. Ogryn. I get some strength index, willpower and con. Um, unequip that. Equip that. There we go. Everything's fine now. And that is actually about it for this video, you guys. Next one, we will go see if we can save Adria. My name is Miss Girl Tanager, and I am playing some Dragon Age Awakening. I'll see you all in the next